All right, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're going to be going over introduction to fire extinguishers. Looks like everybody made it today. Uh, I'm going to be your instructor. My name is Ben Poches. Uh, looks like you made it to fire station one safely. Before we get started, we got to do some housekeeping. So it looks like everyone made it here fine. Uh, before I set up this class, I met with my training division, my training chief, uh, to set up the time for this class as well as have them approve all the materials that we went over today. Uh, so my target audience tonight is actually going to be the general public. So we've got Trevor with us today who's going to be learning about fire extinguishers. But this is open to anybody. Um, really it's going to be to the public and the citizens of Bremerton. It's a very basic class and I want to make sure that everyone has a good understanding and can safely use a fire extinguisher by the time they finish. All the material that we're going to see today was compiled and prepared by myself. Before we start this class, I took the time to make sure I collected all my training materials, anything else we needed for the class. Um, make sure it all functioned properly and we'd have everything we needed for this class as well. I also came in early and addressed any climate needs and made sure we had a safe environment. So we're indoors, so we don't have to worry about any kind of weather. However, uh, I did want to make sure we had a nice temperature in here so everyone was comfortable. I took the time to arrange the room uh, in a format that works well for everyone here so that I can be seen, I can interact with the students, and we also have the ability to come up here and do a demonstration as well as a practical test. Today I'm going to be using audio, visual, as well as tactile teaching styles so we can address all the different learning styles that are out there so that however you learn, uh, we can meet those needs. I also came in early and took the time to pre-test and verify that all my audio and visual equipment worked correctly. Uh, we're going to be doing PowerPoint and so we had some technical difficulties, we worked it out and everything seems to be working fine now. If there's any emergencies, uh, you, you have three exits out of this room. We have one in the front here, one in the rear, as well as one to the side. If we actually have an emergency, the best one's going to be used up here in the front. If you need to use the restroom at all, uh, you can enter out the rear doors and to the left are the restrooms. Uh, I also took the time to remove any unnecessary distractions. So we are in a working fire station, so the tones may go off. Uh, Duty crews could be moving around, but as much as possible, I try to remove anything else that can be problematic or distracting for us here. All right. So I made another little handout for you. So when you leave, uh, all the information we're going to cover today, you can take this with you, and it's a good refresher for you. So I'll give you that. Go ahead and keep that, and I'm also going to give you a roster. If you can fill out your name, go ahead and sign it and date it. Uh, we're going to use that today as well so I can record this training. All right, so we're working on the roster right now. Just make sure I went, got everything covered that I need to. All right. So today, as we talked about, uh, we're going to be at Fire Station 1 at the Bremerton Fire Department. We're going to be going over an introduction to fire extinguishers. I'm going to be your instructor today, Ben Poches. Um, actually, Robert Poches is my name, I go by Ben. So everybody in the fire service says they have the best job in the world. Um, I actually have the best job. So my position here is as the ladder boat operator. So. I think that truly is the best. I get to go and play and train on boats as well as a ladder truck. Um, a fun fact about me is I got into the fire service a little later in life and before I did this I worked as a chiropractor. So just some, kind of fun fact about myself. So today, again we're keeping it very basic, but the goals and objectives that we're going to cover today are going to be safe effective use of a fire extinguisher, basic understanding of the fire classifications, as well as the basic anatomy of a fire extinguisher. And all that's covered in your pamphlet that you came up with. So fire classifications. So fire classifications are done alphabetically. Um, they're very basic, but it's also important to know what fire extinguisher you're gonna to need to use in what situation. Uh, some of these, if you use the wrong one, can actually make things worse. So we'll run through these. So we're gonna start with a class A. 
So class A fires are gonna be involving ordinary combustible materials. So this is stuff you're gonna find around your house. This is gonna be paper, cloth, wood, things like that. Um, and that's gonna be class A. Class B is gonna be flammable liquids. This is gonna be gasoline, diesel, petroleum products, as well as solvents. Class C is gonna be live electrical equipment. So this is becoming probably more and more prevalent as in our time. Uh, we get more and more electrical devices around our houses. So part of this is not only that it extinguishes properly, but also some of these ones do less damage uh, than another fire extinguisher would to some of these expensive electronic devices. D is gonna be combustible material, or combustible metal. So we don't think of metals as being flammable or combustible, but there are several that do that. Uh, a couple examples of those are gonna be magnesium and aluminum. So if we actually use water uh, and put it on that thing where you put the fire out, it's gonna actually make it worse, uh, it's very dangerous. So that's why knowing these classifications and picking the correct fire extinguisher is very important. The last one we're gonna go over is class K. Um, I always think of K for kitchens. This is gonna be cooking oils, animal fats, vegetable oils, things we're gonna find commonly in a kitchen. Um, a lot of times, especially commercial kitchens. So now we have a fire extinguisher. So I brought a set of fire extinguisher with us today. This is just a water can, um, but it also, so this is just gonna be compressed air and water, but it fills the needs of what we wanna to cover today. So if we look at this, we've got a couple things we're gonna look at. We've got a data plate, which for us is right here. So this is gonna help us choose the right fire extinguisher. Uh, this is where we're going to have classification is going to be on there as well as other materials such as time, uh, things related to that. We're going to have our carry handle, which is right here. We're going to have our discharge handle. We've got a pin. This is what allows us to actuate, also keeps it safe. We're going to have our pressure gauge. So all these are going to have a pressure gauge. Usually the green is just going to show us the green is good. So this means that this extinguisher is gonna work correctly and it's gonna, they're ready to go. If you find one that's in the red, um, that's not gonna be good at all. Uh, it means it's not gonna be functional. The other thing we wanna look at is dates on. Uh, most people have a date that they expire by, so make sure you've had one that's either serviced or is up to date or that is within its uh, functional working time. We've got a discharge hose. as well as the uh, discharge nozzle right here. So basic anatomy of this, this is the one we're gonna be working with today. So the acronym we use when we're using fire extinguishers is PASS. Very basic, easy to remember, um, but also effective. So PASS, the P is gonna be for pull the pin. So the pin's gonna be here. A lot of times these are actually secured in place. Um, with something that can be easily broken away just so they don't fall away or they can be secured in some way. So you're gonna pull the pin. Next thing we're gonna do is aim at the base of the fire, as we can see here. We're gonna squeeze the handle, which is that actuating handle we spoke about earlier, and then we're gonna sweep from side to side. So a good rule of thumb is for us to start back about six to eight feet. Make sure we've selected the correct fire extinguisher slowly make our way towards the fire as, as we extinguish it. Um, every fire is going to be a little bit different, but that's a good rule of thumb and a great acronym to use. So I'm going to do a demonstration for us, and then we'll move on. So today we've got a simulated fire in this bucket here. Um, I'm going to say I've come in and there's a small trash can on fire with some paper. So I've located my fire extinguisher. I've verified that it's gonna be the correct one for this certain fire. I've made sure that it's actually gonna function. I've pulled my pin, I'm aiming at the base of the fire, and I'm slowly gonna move <coughs> and sweep and extinguish the fire. Uh, we're not gonna use a lot of this just so we don't make a big mess because we're indoors. All right. Trevor, any questions with that at all at this point? No. Okay, perfect. 
Well, the next thing I'm going to do is have you come on up here, and we're going to go through this, and I'm going to have you help me out here. And I'm going to give you a little scenario, and you go ahead and show me how to do this. So our scenario that we have is you come in, very similar to what we just talked about. You walked into a classroom, and the waste paper basket was on fire. Um, it's got just paper in there. What classification, do you remember, uh, would we use for that? The plus A. Yep, exactly. So class A, um, I also want to let you know as we do this, I'm going to use this as your practical test. So I'll be filling out a practical skill sheet that I'll sign and review with you as well. So perfect. So that's the one we're going to use. So you've identified this is the correct fire signature. If you come up and go ahead and talk me through the pass okay. uh, using this, that's going to be your fire right there. All right, so pass, hold pin. Aim, squeeze, and then switch side to side. Go. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Let's blow this back up. You can have a seat here. Okay. So I'm just going to fill this out here. You did great. Uh, you were able to go through all the steps, correctly identify them identify the correct class of fire extinguisher we're going to use. So I'm just going to fill out here that you pass all these sections, or fill these, and I'm going to go ahead and when we're finished here, I'm going to give you a practical test next. I'm going to have you sign and date this as well, both of these, and both of these I'll keep control of and we will record in your training. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have a little written test for you to fill out. If you want to just take a minute to fill this out, I'm going to flip over your uh, pamphlet here. here. Conduct the test. Take a second to grade this and then we'll cover this. Right, I got the key right here. So you got all these answers correct. So it looks like this is material that you maybe know, or hopefully you've gotten enough out of this class that you will get these. Uh, I'm going to give you, this is your practical test. Again, what we wanted to do is we wanted to go over that you identified it, you were correctly able to use the PAPS acronym uh, to save the extinguisher fire. So I'm going to give you a pen back if you could sign that and date it. test back. You got all these correct? Uh, if I can get you to go ahead and sign and date that as well. Awesome. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I keep hold of the roster, both this practical skills exam as well as the written exam. Uh, I'll hold on to these and file these. Make sure I keep control of them so that no one else has access to them. Uh, then we can use them for any future training that we need to record or if he wants to remember what he has here. Uh, do you have any other questions for me at all? No. Okay, excellent. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come today. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, we've gone through all those aspects and really that's it. So thanks again for your time and have a great evening.